We must stay interested in relating light, sound and space through installations and performances. It's important for us to not see the technology behind it so we can make sure the audience can focus on the immersion. With Toyota, this program is all about future technology and design. And the way we develop our studio is also merging similar values. We're really happy to be part of it. I have an illustration background. So I study in illustration school in Paris. I study architecture. And at some point, I met Noemi and we decided to work together. We developed this studio for like three years now. I've been trying to re relate architecture, space and sound. I don't have this approach of like willing to feel futuristic. We're trying to rather use bright lights to blur the boundaries between reality and the virtual. We take advantage of how technology is so accessible today. We have a prototype called Plume version one. When Creators Project approached us, we took it as an opportunity to make it a bigger project, more like an infinite room with the same concept. It's more like an experience for the audience. The idea is to create a space then the audience can feel and have his own vision of the art piece as well. Because the surface of the mirrors are so big, it's really hard to do it by our own, so it's also the first time we feel like we needed an engineer on board. So Shane is based in Tennessee and he came a few weeks ago in order to work on the industrial design of the structure. He came up with engineer kind of solution, like our technical drawings, we could never done it before. We have a really professional team on board, so we feel pretty confident about this one. There is not a lot of digital art festival in the United States. It's really nice to have brands like Toyota in this project that support and make possible events like this.